Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. I am having a really good day. I went out last night with my friends for a couple of drinks uh, while Nathan stayed at my mother's house and it was really, really fun. So yeah, it was a great end to the weekend. Very hyped indeed. And then on Tuesday, I actually go to view my house. Well, hopefully a new house that I'm going to be living in for the remainder of the future, uh, for the next year or so. So yeah, that's pretty cool too. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I hope that you're all having a fantastic day, guys. And uh, today's video, we're actually going to be looking at the week six challenges for Fortnite Battle Royale so that you guys can actually go and kind of prepare yourselves for what you actually have to do and kind of plan it all out. So yeah. Uh, so before we do get into today's video, guys, if you do end up enjoying it, don't forget to leave a like. It just kind of helps me out. Let's see if we can hit like 500 likes that'd be cool and also if you haven't already subscribe to the channel for more fortnite videos just like this every single day uh, but anyway let's get into talking about the week six challenges for fortnite battle royale now of course the challenges are now expected on thursdays they're no longer tuesdays as far as i am aware it's always going to be a thursday now as i think anyway so uh, yeah if i'm wrong type that in the comment section below actually it could still be tuesdays but I'm pretty sure that it is every Thursday now there will be new challenges. And we're going to be starting off the week six challenges with the first one, which is search supply drops. This is actually going to get you five battle pass stars and earn you, well, yeah, five battle pass stars. I've just said it. What the hell am I talking about? Uh, so basically, all you have to do is search three supply drops and you will get five battle pass stars. This will actually be very very easy to do once you're in a game mode such as like uh, teams of 20 i don't know if challenges count towards in that game mode but if they do that is definitely the game mode that you're probably likely going to complete this challenge in the quickest um, other than that we do have a second challenge which is deal damage with shotguns to opponents and this is 1000 damage in total with the shotguns this will yet again grant you five battle pass stars so again these are very basic kind of challenges. I mean, it's more the end of the season when they start getting better and better. I mean, I love the duckies one, you know, where you had to find a little bit ducks and everything. But it seems like they just don't have that many ideas for different kind of challenges every single week. So uh, obviously they have to kind of rehash a lot of them a lot of the time, you know. So very, very sad stuff. But still, you know, it's whatever. Uh, moving on, we do have the third challenge, which is going to be search chests in Loot Lake. This is going to be seven ch uh, chests, and this will yet again grant you five battle pass stars. That one right there is going to be the hardest. It's got to be the hardest. I mean, how many... Is there even seven chests in Loot Lake anymore? Let's, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, yeah, so there would be around about nine chests if you're lucky that could spawn in Loot Lake. But that right there is very very difficult like oh my god i'm not gonna complete that for a while i know i'm not like i'm not even gonna get the blockbuster skin in the first week i'm telling you because i'm so far behind on my challenges it's unbelievable so yeah not not too happy about that to be honest but again they do it every kind of season you know always like search chests in every location so yeah the next challenge that we're going to be seeing is actually a brand new challenge that has only just came into the game, which is going to be spray over different carbides or Omega posters. Now, a lot of you guys have actually been messaging me on my Twitter and even in the comment section below too, saying like, what's the whole deal with the Omega posters and the carbide posters? Well, basically what it is, is it's kind of like, uh, you know, like let's imagine it's like... Uh, Captain America Civil War, you know, like one team is Team Captain America, the second team is Team Iron Man, and you know, obviously people pick their sides, and that's what those posters are for, you know, people who like to put up the Omega posters are fans of the Omega, uh, people who put up the Carbide ones are fans of the Carbides, uh, so very interesting indeed, I'm actually going to have a guide on that the first day on where you can find different posters, so please Make sure to keep an eye out on the channel, guys. Turn on notifications if you haven't already, because the first, actually before the challenges come out, I will have that video ready, uploaded for you guys to actually check and prepare. Uh, so yeah, for that, you have to actually get seven different posters. So there's actually not that many, but they are pretty much scattered around the map. Uh, which can be a little bit difficult for some people. Uh, other than that, that's going to get you five battle pass stars. So, you know, pretty cool. And uh, now we're going to be moving on to the 10 star challenges. So these are uh, actually the more harder challenges, I guess. So the first one that we're going to be looking at is one that says here, search between a playground, campsite, 
and a footprint. I actually know exactly where this is, and yet again, like I said, I'm gonna have a guide on it, guys. So please, make sure to keep an eye out on the channel, because it's actually a very easy one, but I know for a fact, a couple of people might get confused about the footprint thing. And if you can hear my neighbor's dog barking right now, Jesus, I am so sorry. Like, that little thing does not stop barking all day. She keeps it out in her garden, like, day and night, which is horrible anyway. So, uh, yeah. Jesus Christ, that's annoying. Um, so anyway, like I was saying, yeah, search between a playground, campsite, and the footprint. That's going to be only one thing that you have to find, which is the Battle Pass star that floats. And that'll get you 10 Battle Pass stars for your week 6 challenges. Now the next hard challenge that you're going to be faced with is actually pretty difficult in my opinion, because I hate these weapons, and that is... SMG eliminations. Yes, right. I know, right guys? SMG eliminations. I really just wish they would add the P90 already because I'm sick of the P I'm sick of the uh, the assault rifles, eh? not the assault rifles. The SMGs are in the, this game. I just don't like them whatsoever. So, I always find it so difficult to aim with them. I don't know why. I just do. And uh, I just hate like close range weapons that don't do that much damage. Like, I mean, come on, like if you go into a close range situation, you're obviously going to use a shotgun, you know? It's just, it's it's inevitable. Uh, so anyway, for that challenge, you're actually going to have to get three kills with an SMG. And uh, yeah, like I said, that will get you ten battle pass stars. So yeah, pretty awesome. Pretty easy, actually. But yeah, I can imagine a couple of people will find that very difficult. Especially those on the mobile version of Fortnite. Now, the last but not least challenge that we're going to be seeing in the challenges is eliminate opponents in retail row this again is a hard challenge and this will have to this will see you have to get uh, three kills in retail row doesn't matter if you're in one game and the next game you get a kill and the next game you get a kill as long as you get three kills all together in retail row you will actually get yourself 10 battle pass stars so yeah very easy stuff indeed guys and uh, yeah pretty interesting actually i mean i'm actually pretty happy that they added in a brand new challenge such as the spray over a carbide and omega posters i'm really happy about that but not only that i'm really happy about you know the search between a playground campsite and foot uh, footprint because i get to do another guide video you know and i really miss doing the challenge guide videos i never did any for last week because i just had a lot of stuff going on but uh, you can bet your buttholes guys that i will have uh, two guides on both of those, both the spray over different carbide posters and the mega posters, and also the search between a playground campsite and a footprint. So yeah, yeah, definitely turn on notifications if you haven't already, guys. Do not miss out on the channel because I am constantly doing Fortnite videos pretty much every single day. I mean, some of them are speculation videos. Some of them are just really good videos where everyone can kind of comment down below and get into a nice discussion and kind of just build a nice community where we share our own opinions. Uh, you know, if you guys have different opinions than me, I don't mind, you know, everyone's opinion matters, and that, yeah, I, I will respect your guys' opinions, so yeah. Uh, but anyway guys, thank you very much for watching today's video, I do hope that you had an awesome day, and that you did enjoy today's video. If you did, like I said, don't forget to leave a like, and uh, Nathan's downstairs, he's actually shouting right now. I asked him today if he would actually do a video with me on Fortnite, and uh, the little guy said no, he doesn't want to do a video on Fortnite with me right now. And um, I guess it just depends on what kind of a mood he's in. So for those of you who are still waiting for me to do a video with him, I am very sorry. It will be a face cam video when he actually agrees to it. But as of right now, I don't know exactly when that will be. So yeah, big apologies for the hold up on that. It's just I don't want to force him to do something that he doesn't want to do. Uh, so, you know, yeah. Uh, but anyway, guys, like I said, have an awesome day. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay in the background. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.